morning, my fellow YouTubers. Me in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. About to head up to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. On American Airlines 737-800 in economy class. Let's go get checked in, have a look around, and see what it's all about. If you feel you need that last beer, tequila, right there's your spot right before you're checking in and going through security. Have one last one. After spending time at a very busy resort, I was impressed to see how empty this airport was. Since I already had my boarding pass on my phone, I didn't need to check in. Really, there was no lines anyway, so it's not like I'm stressed for time. But if you need to save time, get your boarding pass on your phone. Just punch in your passport information, go through the COVID steps, because you do need a negative COVID test at the time of this filming in April of 2022 to get back in the US one day prior. If you were too busy enjoying your vacation, don't worry, this airport has plenty of souvenir shops in case you didn't do any shopping. So far, quick and easy. And as your typical international airport it takes you through duty free. And I think that's one of the fastest times I've made it through Mexico security. I know there's still passport control. I have a secret and a confession to make about this VIP lounge. Continue watching and you'll see what I mean. So the priority pass lounge gets you into the VIP lounge. And they have little sandwiches, cookies, beer, liquor, and just enough to tide you over. Nothing really wow factor, but it keep you away from the rest of the crowd if you wanted. And this place is uh, pretty busy and really small. There isn't much to this airport, but the views you get are pretty wide open and spacious. After staying there for about 30 to 40 minutes, my consensus is not bad, does the trick. Get you a little, suppress the appetite, have some beer, liquor, coffee, whatever tickles your fancy. And started to get pretty crowded. Oh no, okay experience. Let's go to the gate for this airport. Being as small as it seems, they utilize a lot of good space with restaurants, shops, lots to choose from. If you're missing that souvenir, duty free. If you're hungry, you name it. Down below here are gates 15 through 20. And I believe, from what I can tell, it's those gates that you ride the bus to the hard stand and get on the airplane up the stairs. That way they can, the airlines can utilize more space when there's not a jetway available. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see my confession and actually a blunder? I didn't do my homework with this airport. This is the better lounge to go to. It takes up two floors. And if I had more time, I would be going. But my plane just landed, so let's get to the gate. This paper right here is very important. You originally received this when you enter Mexico. So right when you board, they take the immigration card I showed you. Let's get on the plane, get settled in. Sometimes these 737s are hit or miss. USB plugs, however, these didn't work. But the other aisle, these did. You can tell by the light. And pro tip, with these 737 bins, turn your bags to the side like the diagram shows. Another good feature is this device holder. Not all the planes have them. Last but not least, get those air vents open. It's hot in Mexico. I guess this is the best time to give your bathroom tour. So let's buckle up, it's almost time to go. However, a bummer was about to happen. My window shade would not open. Luckily, the camera could see through. Flight number 
353 with service to Dallas Fort Worth. Our flight crew has informed us our flying time will be two hours and one minute at an altitude of 37,000 feet. Make sure your seat is upright, all larger electronic devices are put away, and your tray table is stowed. Seat back device holders must be stowed for taxi, takeoff, and landing. If you have a carry on, place it all the way under the seat in front of you. This was my view for the whole trip. This is as bad as booking a windowless window seat. These flight attendants were pretty quick to start beverage and snack service. However, I came prepared with some goodies I bought in the terminal. While we're snacking, let's check out the entertainment section. First, you have to make sure you have a personal device so you can access all of this. Weather, lounges, airport info, there's plenty of entertainment, movies, TV, lifestyle, and kids section. And at the time of flying, I don't know if that was lucky or what, but free Wi-Fi was available. It helped me access apps like this one, FlightAware, to see where the location of the plane was. In the comments below, type yes Biscoff or no Biscoff if you like or dislike these cookies. Maybe it's just me and my love for flying, but it seemed like this flight went so fast. Before I knew it, we were descending down to the Dallas-Fort Worth area and landing. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you don't have it already, get Global Entry. It helps you through the process a lot faster. Any tips or tricks, reach out. I'll try and put some in if I didn't already. Welcome to Dallas. And if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already. Hit that like button, subscribe, uh, share with your friends and family. See you on the next one and off we go.